What is our last beginner league? Um, and I'm finally playing this today. Uh, Z Heritage. Okay. Final beginner league, and it's about the the fair lady Z. So we have the 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 Z32 and the Z33 available. I guess this thing too, but <clears throat> yeah. The Seema Z. I didn't even look to see. Do I have any a bandmate? Uh huh. How was that? How was how was seeing all the bands live that I wish I could see live but never will? <clears throat> so, yeah. He's a. Uh... X Games mode on the but she's ridiculous. Actually insane. She's so good. Honestly, all like everyone is cracked in that band. Even fucking Am I an idiot? Yes, it's literally right here. I can't see with my eyes. <clears throat> so fucking crazy. Please tell me that uh, Misa and Konami did, did a duel at some point. I'm going live. Hell yeah. They're really fucking good. Alright. <clears throat> got the Z. We got it in piss. Let's see if I can find a quick livery. Was very headbanging. Entire time. <laughs> Car livery. Japan. Nissan. That's it. <gasps> Someone made a Steve. Someone made a Steve. This was meant for me. Hell yeah. Alright. We don't need to search any further. We got the Steve. <clears throat> oh, you saw another band? Alright. Who, who else? Did you see? Dave. Steve applied. Oh shit, you saw Nemophilia Phila too? Fuck. They just like they just released a new song as well, so like fuck. All the good shit. All the good shit I'll never see. Actually insane. Dude, Japan is on some shit, like fuck man. Anyway, Z Heritage, the Z only event for Nissan's iconic front engine rear wheel drive sports car with its flowing body and high powered engine. Ooh. <clears throat> All right. So, five races to end the beginner league, and we're going to be starting at the Tokyo Expressway South Inner Loop. So, let's go. Turn the game up in OBS a little bit. All right. Oh, I figured. I forgot to grab my gloves. Gotta have my gloves for driving with the wheel. Yeah, I know. They're fucking really good. <laughs> Fuck. I assume you also saw Orbit Culture because of what you DM'd me on uh, Discord. <laughs> Again, seeing all the bands I wish I could see live, but will never will. Hate it here. <laughs> Because no one ever goes to Indiana. And if they do, it's on the other side of Indiana. It's too far away from me. So it turns out, driving like hot garbage is, um... Not the way to victory. Um, not, I'm actually gonna have to, like, maybe put a little effort into make, going, winning this. And by a little effort, I mean more than none. 
I'm just like, oh, I'm in a stock Z32. This will be easy. And I could have won that first attempt, but I just completely missed the second hairpin on the last lap, so. Big L. Big L. Certain T. Huh? Pure box delivers. I mean, I never had any doubts. Courtney actually goaded with the sauce. Ooh, that was sketchy. The hysteria breakdown. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Chef's kids. <laughs> drive. Want to talk about it. Unfortunate typo. Ooh, Unfortunate typo. The Phantom, by the way. It would be a car stream. Yeah, I've done that. Oh, E. Okay. All right, tomorrow. You're 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 way behind, Emerald. The moment has passed. Uh oh, uh oh. I was gonna whack the inside wall. The help, the the moment had passed. The scrolling already happened. No member? I always forget that they're like still around and making music. <laughs> right. Like Amy Lee is just someone who just kind of exists and I see her every now and then on like interviews. Certified 10 years moment. At least they at least Evan Essence has more than one song. They have like two at best. <laughs> Maybe three. Oh shit. There's a wall there, by the way. Like three, I think. <laughs> I wonder if I still have my fucking CD copy of their first album stashed away somewhere. Switch also delivers. Ah, oh, kill switch is great. Oh, big run. Big run. Hey, look, I actually made it into the hairpin this time. sings for STP anymore. If that 
Scott and Chester. <laughs> Band. Yeah, this is rough. Yeah, Chester Lincoln Park, uh. <laughs> song for STP after uh, Scott died. Oh, that now you do. I think Chester and Scott were actually like good friends. Maxwell will do that to you, test drive. <laughs> the brain cells. Make the corner. I didn't really make the corner, but whatever. That's basically just their brand now. Campy horror movie. Really cool. Oh shit. Okay, there we go. I put a little more effort than none at all into this race and we're gonna get the easy win. First bands that day, damn. The hell of a lead. Alright. So, yeah, that Fuguzi, uh, kind of quick. A little quick. Bit of fast. I'm faster, though. <laughs> That's so many fucking replays I need to, like, Record and screenshot. Oh god. Code. Oh god. Cor code orange. Hell yeah. All right. Sakuba's next. Let's go. Sakuba. <laughs> Excuse me. I heard the funny Santa Claus song. <laughs> So what you're saying is he played a uh, Dragula, and in your mind, it was Psycho Stick. You sure shit did. <laughs> I fucking heard it. <laughs> uh. <laughs> like a goddamn parasite. Oh, excuse me, sir. Sakamoto. I want your position. trying to think of something and I forgot what I was thinking about and I was trying to think about what I was thinking about and then uh yeah <laughs> it's hilarious 
Hey, Alphonic, how we doing? Singing the course in my head, only Rarb. Go down your chimneys and give you lots of presents. Oh God, eat all your cookies, I'm Santa Claus. Fuck like what the fuck activities am I sharing that people are liking? Oh shit, Dracula from the hit game Twisted Metal. That's probably what they want. Oh shit, Santa Claus from Hit Pants Psycho Stick. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Dude, Dragula was in like every fucking game. In the late 90s. Crazy. Especially that specific remix. We got a situation here. Inescapable. <laughs> Sir. Larson. Swedish Larson. Tragular. Considering I've seen Slipknot live, I understand. Mm. Good shit. Right, huh. Oh, big slide. We're good. Congratulations. Well, <laughs> Martin Brando's out. I see your vocabulary has improved. Mojang really be like, her, her. I'm gonna hit her where it hurts. For the overtake, or is he just gonna chill behind me? He's just chilling behind me. Okay. Works for me. Final lap. Overshoot. Big slide. Days of all time. Thursday didn't do the funny song. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised to hear Thursday still around doing shit. Thrice on the other hand, very much did the funny yacht song, hell yeah. I mean, right, that one was slightly easier than 
expressway. Probably mostly because I understand what I have to do now to win. And we've leveled up. Woohoo! Level 31. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Two down, three to go. Oh. Oh, Blue Moon Bay. Okay. To Blue Moon Bay. Featuring a new vein song. Shout out. Didn't, um... Didn't somebody from, like, Thrice or Thursday or whatever the fuck one of those bands feature on, like, a metalcore song recently? Like, not that other than the one you just mentioned. Or am I full of shit? <laughs> I could very well be full of shit. Alright. Z Heritage Race 3. Blue Moon Bay Speedway Infield A. Let's go. Specifics. I... Like, that's... That's the... <laughs> that's as specific as I remember. To be perfectly honest. It was one of those things where it's like, oh, they're still around. Huh. I forgot about that person. Actually, you know what? I think I, I think I might know what it was. I think it's the dude from Under Oath who featured on a fucking... Uh, can't remember the name of the band. It's a more deathcore band. Can't remember their name, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, um... That was the thing that happened. I haven't listened to Under Oath since, like... Fucking... 2005. <laughs> They're like one of my gateways into metal horror and just metal in general. never actually, like, listen to them. Alright, so that was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad first lap. Steadily a heavier. Huh. Shout out Happy Caleb. Shit's greatness. <laughs> oh my fucking god, there's turns there, you fool. Apparently I'm still playing Porsche Unleashed in my head. Like, Porsche Unleashed GBA. Because fucking... I'm just missing every corner. I'm like, alright, let's wall bounce. Know how that works. Oh my fucking god, I'm in the pile. Helped. Help. Oh really? I thought Riptide was like different but good. As of right now, I do. I don't know. I did not know it prior. Wait, trash boat. That's that's so familiar sounding. Help! Help me, Reaper. My brain is not putting the pieces. God damn it! You're supposed to slow down for the turns. Oh fuck yeah, okay, okay, now now I'm on the same page. That's right, they covered Given Up. Really, really good cover of Given Up. 
Alright, alright, I'm with you now. That's the only trash boat song I've ever like heard. I completely forgot they existed. There's too much music, and I can't even keep up with the small but large but small number of bands that I follow already. Oh shit. Ooh. Excuse me. Alright, I've taken the lead as we take the white flag. Cool. Slide off the banking. Shikari wouldn't pick them up. <laughs> I've never heard anything from Inner Shikari unless I have, and I it's on my Spotify likes, and I've just completely forgotten it. Which is extremely possible. You know how many songs like I listen to on Spotify, and I'm like like, damn, this is good, I'm gonna like this and probably check out more of this band and then I completely forget everything, including the song I just liked. Happens way more often than you may think. Hell, it took fucking work on me to remind me that Relica exists and then, because I liked one of their songs months ago. I actually recently started listening to Relica and uh, they're really fucking good. One at the bay. Speed. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did it. Other than the expressway, there doesn't really seem to be a standout, like, best car for this. Like, it looks like the Z32 are usually, like, in the lower, but still. Like, the lower uh, positions. Still. Anyways. Race for Alsace. Let's go. Data. Hmm. They brought on the Emo Night Tour guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> 40 minutes of emo covers, hell yeah. Let's go. Alsace and Z's. Man. CR. How much of a religious experience was that? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Well, that wasn't good. Fucking good. E. Bummer. Oh. Stop to get the crowd to calm down. I 
I heard something about like their pits getting super fucking rowdy. I don't know if that's what you said on Twitter or somebody said it on Twitter. Hey, Steve. Said that it probably was from Toupee then. I'm doing okay. I actually slept today, which is nice. Cat decided to chill and stop making uh, very loud noises. We played the funny GT Sight 5 song. My velocity starts to make you sweat. Only six seconds behind the leader. We're looking good here. Oh, get back. Back, fiend. Not getting back. All right, three wide it is. MCR is a big fucking deal. They're like the emo band. Everything was deafening. Holy shit. That was tight. Got the double overtake for the lead. Before MCR and during emo night was Papa Roach. The whole park screen last resort. Fuck yeah. Shout out Papa Roach. Their new album's quite mid to like meh, but like still stand. No, Jacoby's still singing for Papa Roach. Tom was gonna fight some dude and his girlfriend. Ah, yes, the, the true festival experience. Alright, getting it. Getting a barricade. Oh shit. Uh huh. drunk. No surprise here. Oh god. Welcome to my Alsace Drift Chain tutorial. Just kidding.
it's way past, yeah. It's like, what the hell is that shadow? Is the helicopter? Helicopter flying by, don't mind. Puts her elbow in my mouth to nose range. Oh my god. I mean. Hey, clean race bonus, let's go. Let's see it. <laughs> Braced for combat. Alright. One race to go. Beginner League. Finally. It's at Laguna Seca. For four laps, so this will be a long one. For Beginner League standards. Let's go, four laps of Laguna. Can't reach my tea. Shit. Conveniently, I've had this bottle of water sitting on my little. my little side table here for like a day. Damn, that Bloody Woods was there. Dude, Bloody Woods cool. Is fuck. We go. We're gonna say go. Especially when you're collateral. <laughs> best Z is obviously the best Z is mine because it has a uh, it has a uh, Growlithe on the on it. You know you're not supposed to drive into the dirt and the sand. Stop hating bringing the horizon. You know, at this point it's like they're doing their thing. And honestly, they're actually like trying to they're doing stuff that's kind of making I've seen more uh More mainstream popularity, which is fine. Win. Ah, yeah. Oh, Maxwell. <laughs> Peter Maxwell. That is not how you do the corkscrew. Anyways, yeah, it's usually the diehard fans that ruin shit. Ruin. Ruin shit. Cork screwed it up. Honestly, I've never actually listened to Bring Me the Horizon except for their song that they did with uh, featuring ba Baby Metal and um, fucking Moon Over the Castle. <laughs> baby Metal, fucking love Baby Metal.
baby metal was my gateway into uh, Japanese metal, and my god, the Japanese metal scene is so good. Critical. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see what you mean, Reaper. going even further in that direction. Honestly, the coolest thing about uh, Bring Me's Moon Over the Castle is the fact that we have a version of the iconic Gran Turismo song with a breakdown. up more though. Oh yeah. Definitely. They very much need to stay in their lane sometimes. Pretty calm lap and a half, so long as I stay on the track. I'm already in the lead. So long as I stay on the track. And I need to, like, dive into Muse. I need to see what the hype is about. The problem is with bands like Muse, I have to be like in the correct mood to listen to it. It's too easy. I don't know, you tell me. I have a seven second lead heading into the last lap. Someone who listens to a lot of prog, uh, you know, an hour does not phase me, even though it definitely does. Twenty minute song go burr, hell yeah. Talking shit about me? No, he's talking about the stream mode and the audio options. I just turned that shit off completely because I don't trust it. Super tight and everything they do. Damn. They have honed their craft. Outros from other bands. Huh. A little bit of the duality written. Really? Interesting. Alright, well that was an easy way to uh, finish off the beginner league. It is beginner league, so it's it's meant to be easy. 
there we go. We don't get any fanfare or anything for winning all the races. We just win all the races, so. Double check and make sure I didn't miss anything because I know I didn't, but I also am very uh, dumb. For honestly, GT6 doesn't have a whole lot of fanfare for most uh, series. Just like, hey, you won, congratulations. Okay, go to the next. If you're gonna be one of those guys, at least be right about what you're saying. All right, so 93 races was the beginner league. We've won all of them. I do get a free card because daily workout. Ooh, we got a pretzel. Or no, an Evo. Wow. Me stupid. Anyways, we got an Evo 4. Very nice. I'm an incredibly dumb person. <laughs> uh, oh, I got an achievement, by the way. Of a uh, number of days logged in. Cool, I guess. Seven days. Wow. I found a super livery for it. Uh, I would absolutely put it on there. <laughs> so, that was the beginner league, GT League. Finally done. So, uh, we, so uh, next up is the amateur league. The amethyst level thing, I don't fucking know. Yeah. But, what if I said... We're not doing the Amateur League yet. We're going to be doing something else before we start the Amateur League. Because that's what we're doing. Because uh, there's one more uh, mode in this game that has some progress. And it's the first time this mode has had actual progress in it since Gran Turismo 3, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Arcade mode. <laughs> Actually has progression. So only in the single races, so, um, yeah, we're going to go to arcade mode, so here's every track. We've unlocked all the tracks through leveling up already, and uh, each location is separated into their own choice with different races, races for each layout. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go ahead and win all the races at the tracks that only have one layout, starting with Northern Isle Speedway, so... To basically the shorter, shortest uh, A races. We have multiple times a day we can choose from. I'm going to make this a night race just because it looks cool at night. Uh, we have some loner cars we can choose from. Kind of a good mix of each of the performance classes up to group three. Or I can just use my own garage cars, which I'm going to do. So, uh, let's see. What will be good? For Northern Isle. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. I have two Evo fours now, I just realized. Damn. Race trucks now. Uh Viper. Bucket Viper. I like this little, little screen here. And also with Arcade Mode, we can choose our difficulty. So, beginner, intermediate, professional. Get more money in XP, the harder difficulty we do. And, uh... Wait, I mean... There's only so many cars you can get, and they're not going to give you, like, the best cars in the game. Just from driving 26 miles a day. Like to know. What do I think of GT Sport? Uh, it was a necessary refresh for the series to help it stop it from be getting from being getting more stale than it already was getting. 
and bloated. So, I really appreciate this game for what it was. Oh shit, they actually BOP'd it in a uh, arcade mode. That's cute. Okay. All right. Interesting. Didn't expect that. All right, anyways, Northern Isle Speedway arcade mode. Be a quick race, but here we go. I say quick race, it's 15 laps, but it's also 15 laps of this short ass track. So away we go. For our first arcade race. In GT Spalt. Again, first time arcade mode's had actual progression since GT3, from what I remember. Oh. Stuck behind this whatever that is. No longer stuck behind that whatever that was. <laughs> Shooting hoops. Real racing routes 2017 in. Oh, all right, now we're schmoving. Got my line. I no longer have my line. And you know, Trickle. I mean, like, with their, like, reflections, or... Oh, jeez, oh, three laps down, excuse me. Reflections. Hmm. Well, electrical is a word I never thought about when describing reflections. Interdesting. Alright, we're well up to second. Need to catch Beltran. River race for livery. Absolutely. River race type 4 livery. It's fantastic. Love it. Get back here. Alright. Uh, Beltran is kind of pulling away. Best lap is a 17.8. I have yet to crack the 17s. Oh, I think the rubber band activated. <laughs> the rubber band has very much activated. All right. He just ran a 19, I'm pretty sure. Or not even 19, like a 20 second lap. Loading screen game. Um... Five dozen either. <laughs> Reaper. Funny. All right. Well, thank you, uh, GT Rubber Band, for giving me the lead. It's not over yet. He's still in my ass. I got six more laps. Big old pile of traffic here as well. Ooh. Why is there a Viper in last? That's bullshit. Blue flag. Oh, hi Camaro. Hi Camaro. Understeer. So much understeer. Around the roof. Around the GT. Before I hit. Alright, I only, I only quote funny people who aren't racist. Alright, well, uh... That traffic did not help me build a gap on Beltran, unfortunately. Oh, that's the apron. Don't touch that. No touch apron. I 
Oh, fuck. I'm screwing up my lines here. <laughs> Thank you, Emerald. But I said funny people who aren't racist. There we go, we won. We've won the uh, Northern Isle night race. Yeah. Did it. Holy shit, it's actually having ever letting everybody cross the line before the fade. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait, nope. Hey, look at that. There we go. That's a wall, now you know. All right, cool. Get a little bit of credits, a little bit of mileage. That was a nine mile race. There's the results. Beltran was in the S2000 GT1, that makes sense. That's why he was so fast. Take a look at the lap chart, because I can. So it took me eight and a half laps to actually get the lead from 11th out of 20. I like this lap chart, it's cool. Anyways, so yeah, that's, that's it right there. <laughs> Not really anything else to say. Oh, we can change conditions and car and stuff. Like, on the fly here. Recommended cars. Oh, it's just the loner cars. Let me change penalty settings. Interesting. Right, I want to see how long it takes to load if we change conditions. Too easy. That wasn't easy at all. The only reason I won was because the game decided to rubber band fucking that S2000 to me. Wish brand Bristol. Okay, so it does take a while to load, load different. You can also just change track from the arcade menu, which is cool. Anyways, there, uh, see, we've completed a uh, Northern Isle. We have the, uh, on uh, professional difficulty, so we have the uh, little circles there indicating I've completed it. Hooray. Now I gotta do that cool thing where like, pause, and then we move on to the next track. Haha! -ha. So it's slightly easier to segment for YouTube. Hi, Kimmy. Okay, so, uh, Northern Isle, quick race for our first arcade trip. Uh, where are we going next? I'm looking at my notes. We are going to Sakuba next. Because again, I'm only taking care of the tracks, the locations that only have one layout. So, this stuff like right here will wait to, uh, wait till later. Arcade progression is back. Thank you for not paying attention to me saying that multiple times. <laughs> As I was going through Northern Isle, um, you know, let's do a let's do a sunrise race at Sakuba. Why not? What car do I want to drive? It'll be fun to drive at Sakuba. Hmm, the Mach Forty. No. Um, you're in G. I'm just if you look for things to complain about, you'll find them. Stop looking. Enjoy things for once. Let's use the Honda Sports VGT. Use something I haven't driven yet. Take this to uh, Sakuba. Look at that steering wheel. That is a steering wheel. This interior period is quite interesting. Alright. 
Oh, it's oops, all Honda Sport. All right. I see. No BOP. I can't lower the weight, but I can raise it. Do that. No traction control. I guess sport soft tires. Okay. All right. Well, let's go racing at Sukuba in the arcade. All right. Let's try this for like the fifth time. <laughs> On some uh, better tires now. This race is hard. I've picked a combination that is not easy. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, I didn't like that slide. Kind of afraid. The car is going to slide more now. I assume your football game is over now. E. All right. Well, I don't think the AI changed their tires. Cause we're scooting. Football isn't real, just like Delaware. His feet are not balling. Four in the morning, oh shit. <laughs> oh god, oh man, oh shit. Alright, well I absolutely deserve this, because I was terrible. One AM kickoffs. Oh fuck, you've had the prime time game as well. <laughs> You just call up Kansas City and tell them to play their games earlier. You aren't a Raiders fan, so you're fine. Oh, okay, I... Apparently, uh, switching tire compounds means I've completely forgotten how to drive, because holy shit, I am all over the place. Like, in a very bad way. Despite everything, I've made my way up to third. Alright. It's fine. It's not fine. God damn it. God damn it. Funnily enough, Reaper, you are the second person I know that lives in California that is an Oakland Raiders fan. Alright, well, despite how absolutely fucking dreadful I've been driving in this attempt, I'm gonna get the dub because of the tires. took way too many tries. But we got there in the end. We won Sakuba finally. Hometown team. There we go. Everyone's across the line. All our Honda Sports VGTs.
I somehow got a clean race bonus, even though that was far from a clean race. I don't even... Hard ones. Oh, um... Creating imbalance. It de I think it depends on, like, conditions. Like... Weather conditions and crap. I don't know. It works, but... I can't explain how it works in Rally. <laughs> That's for sure. So anyways, there's the Sakuba Arcade Race. Um, I almost forgot to save the replay. And again, there's only one layout, so we're done with all that. Rear seats become tables. Dodge Kahuna. All right, cool. Thank, thank you, Gran Turismo. There, there's Sakuba done. We got a red circle. We got a green circle. We're a blue circle. We got a yellow circle. There is no green circle. So, uh, we'll move on to our next arcade location next.